Hey guys, what's up? I'm the Merboy 16, and I'm going to be showing you guys this vintage 100 year old plus um, well worth, wall worth um, player piano. This piano is approximately 100 years plus old. Um, still works, everything works on it. Still 100 years old and is in great shape. All the different features of it are is that the stool here can have a backrest thing that comes up and down. You can use it for a table if you need to. Um, there's multiple different levers. There's one right here which controls, which is sort of like your um, long ring type thing. So if I push a button, and then I push my foot pedal for a long ring or whatever, it'll do. This does the same thing. That's what that lever does. There's um, another lever underneath here, which is a cool little secret lever for people with kids or whatever. It allows for um, you to lock the piano so they can't really play on it, like babies or whatever. They can't play on it. They'll just be able to hit it or whatever. They won't be able to play because there won't be any way for them to reach the keys. And there's another lever here, which is for the player part of the piano, that allows you to speed up or slow down the speed of the um, music that you're going to be playing on. There's a little indicator here that shows you just how fast you will be going from 30 words per minute to 100 plus words per minute. So you can, um, so you can adjust the speed for that. And then there's another, there's a gear shifter in here for reversing which reverses the gearing for the winding part, which allows you to rewind the paper and not have to rewind it by hand. And then you switch it back to the main gear, which spins the main spool and then pumps the air through these little holes that are able to um, sense the air not being able to flow through them properly. And then it allows for the um, system to be able to push the keys down using air pressure instead of having to use manual. And then if I open this, I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but over on this side you had your um, pump, your air motor, which runs the crankshaft, which runs the gearing and all the controls for the um, other things. Um, you have two diff you have multiple different bellows in here to be able to pump air into certain parts of the thing to be able to do different functions. And then you have your gears and then you have the chain that runs the system that allows it to run. But right now I'm just going to demonstrate the piano part and show you that this works and I'll play some songs I know how to play on piano. <laughs> one piece of Beethoven I know how to play. Here's another. Thank you. 
Man, so I know of that, which is the theme song for Land Before Time, the old movie series of the dinosaurs, or whatever. And then here's another one. <laughs> Rango, the movie. and show you guys that the um, player on this actually works. So here's um, a um, classic, which is Frosty the Snowman, which is a um, song from way back long ago. I'm not exactly sure, but it's almost as old as the piano itself. Um, so what you do is you put the paper in here, the spool in here, and then the little guides fall down and they hold it in place. Whoops. I'm going to get this one to go in there. There we go. There we go. Grip this piece. And then hook it up to that. And then there's a door underneath where the foot pedals are that you can slide and then you pull out the pedals for the air compressor in there that allows for it to run. So as I start pushing, you'll see the paper start to move and then I get it to a speed where it will start playing. There's a lot of beginning paper here. <laughs>
able to play all these different papers in the I'm not sure if you can see the paper or whatever, but there's the little indent there's little um specialized holes in them and it, that looks sort of like Morse code that allows for the air to flow through certain parts of it that allows for the piano to play it. So hang on a sec if I get my computer situated here. So it's able to do that. And there's a little lever in here which you use to switch gears over to reverse mode which you put your tempo indicator, which is the speed of the spool, all the way to the 100 plus, and then it allows for it to rewind the paper at an extremely fast pace. And then that's how that works, and it's, again, this is 100 plus years old, and yet this piano still works. So it just comes to show that piece, things made way back in the early 1900s was very high quality. But, um, so, there's also a little, um, thing that you can use to cover your keys. And all these little levers that are underneath here fold up underneath for storage of the piano. And then you close this, and if it doesn't look like it's flush with the bottom part of the piano, there's actually a mechanism that comes up and locks it in place because it can't reach all the way down because of these little ports in here that are for um, old time amplifiers that would be able to be used on something like this. So I'm going to get you guys a bit of a view of the compression system working and I'll put in a different paper for you guys to listen to. Let's get this stupid thing out. There you go. Put the box on the floor. These are pretty much just the very old, these are the very first versions of cassette players, technically. They work almost the same way that cassette players work. Oh my god, come on. Are you in the hole yet? Okay. Switching over to the compression gear. There we go. Now we'll get to the part where it'll start to run. And then fold that up. And I will get a box to use to hold the top piece up here so that way you can actually look at the components inside as they run. So, and this song is, um, the Candy Man. I hope you guys got to see the inner workings of the piano and see how it works. And then all you got to do to put everything back 
the way it was is just pull this huge thing down. I can just get the paper out here. There you go. This piano weighs almost uh, 200 pounds. And that's because it's made of metal in the back. It's made of a brass metal or a copper. I'm not exactly sure, but it has multiple different um, features on it that allow it to work. And then with the feet pedals, you can just push these back up and they lock in place. And then there's a door that you pull back to hide them, which the door that we have on this piano is kind of warped. But um, that's pretty much the um, piano. It's um, 100 years plus. So you can imagine that this is a very, very old piano. And that it is very rare because no one else has pianos or player pianos nowadays that are really working at full potential. This could actually be used in a museum of um, musical arts and stuff. But it's my grandparents, and then they'll give it to me and my brothers when they um, pass on. But um, when they get when they pass on, me and my brothers will get this, or I will get it because I'm the only one who appreciates vintage items like this but um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed um please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and um i will be sure to answer any questions you guys have if you want to write those down but i will um see you guys later stay cool youtube bye